Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 27. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 26.2 to 30. Hey, in this, this YouTuber asked, hey, how do I do data validation in a cell when the list is on a different sheet? You can't do it unless you name the range first. So over here, I'm going to add data validation, but first, got to name it. I'm going to come over here to this sheet right here, 27.2. I'm going to highlight the names, not the field name, but just the names. Come up to the name box, and I'm going to type C-U-S. I always like to use short names. Don't forget to hit Enter after you type your name. And I always like to check it. I'm going to click over here, go up to the drop down, and check. OK, it highlighted. I'm also going to highlight the whole table because we're going to do a V lookup too. And I'm just going to call this uh, CT for customer table. Enter. I like short names. I'll check it. Go to Cuss. And now I'll go to CT. Now we can go over to our other sheet. And now we can do data validation. Now data validation is data, data tools, data validation in 2007. In 2003, it's data menu data validation. The keyboard shortcut that works in both versions is Alt DL. Alt DL. I'm going to click on the Settings tab, and I want to allow a list and the source. The source right here. Instead of typing out the name, use the F3 key to paste a name. F3. I have to use this because I'm a bad typer. And plus, if you have lots of names, you forget it. So F3, paste the name. Then you just double click Cuss. And there it is. Now let's look at input message and error alert. Input message. You can be polite, and an input message will pop up. Please use drop down list. I'm a bad speller, so I better quadruple check it. And then error alert, there's actually three levels of error. Stop will not let you put it in. Warning will give you a warning, but it'll let you put it in. And information just gives you information. In warning, you have to click, I think it's OK to, to after you, and then I'll let you put something in. Information just gives you information. Let's do stop. Let's do the most severe one. And please only use drop down. Now, it doesn't really give us a lot. Uh, of room here, so you have enough room here down here to put some message. Values from drop down only. If only I'd learned to type. All right, now let's click OK. So now we're um, not a, we we uh, are not going to be allowed to put values in except for the list. Oh, look at that! There's the list. I'm going to select Trader Joe's. Oh, what's this? A formula already popped up. For those using uh, Excel 2003, oops, so oh, no, I'm for you, those using 2003, I'm going to hit F2. And you can see there's a formula down there with if and is in and VLOOKUP in case uh, you have an error. Because I'm actually going to show you how to um, get an error message even though we have data validation. But um, that's for you using 2003 or earlier. I want to show you the formula in 2007. It's a shorter formula. We're going to use a VLOOKUP here to look up Trader Joe's balance. And we're going to use the um, if error. Equals I F E. I can double click this or hit tab in 2007. If error. The beauty of this is you just put your VLOOKUP where the value is, and then whatever you want, if VLOOKUP evaluates to an error, you put value if error. So what we're going to do is our VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP, the lookup value is going to be this. The table array, oh yeah, we named it. So I'm going to use my F3 key, and I named it CT, so I'm going to double click comma, the column index number is 2 because the balance is in the second column of our lookup table. Comma, and now approximate value, that's for ranges of numbers. When you have text, you almost always just want to say exact value, false, or 0. That's a great way to shorten up your formulas. Don't bother using false or true. Use 1 or 0. 0 means false. Control Enter. Now, the if error is great. There's our value. That's the VLOOKUP. And uh, value of error, I'm going to type comma, and then quote, quote. That's for blank. And then end uh, close parentheses. 
there it is. Now if I use my drop down here, oh that is so cool, data validation from a different sheet. Berkeley Bowl owes us 69.55. Now why in the world would we have these if errors in this long is, if, is, all that junk, if this has data validation? Um, as you saw when we tried to type something in, enter, it, it has this um, message and so I click uh, retry and then I use the dr or cancel and then drop down there's Whole Foods Balance. But watch this, if I type EEE -E -E up here, control enter and then copy and paste into the cell with data validation, oops, data validation doesn't work right there. It pasted it right over. It actually took the format, everything from this cell and pasted it there. You actually could put uh, the, you point to the smart tag and say um, Matt's destination formatting. Oh, and then you kept your data validation, but E is in the cell. So that's why down here we have our formulas to prevent that error message from popping up. Of course, now we can just select uh, PCC, and there's our balance. All right, that's how to do data validation uh, in one cell based on a list from a different sheet. See you next, YouTubers love Excel.